welcome to Family Friendly Movie Picks, where I, Mr. John, give you three choices for three great movies. They're hidden gems, I love them, and I hope you'll love them too. Parents, don't forget, just like every week, be sure and investigate these movies, research them, make sure it's something appropriate for your family to watch in your house. And where can you find these movies? All of these movies can be found with a quick Google search. You can stream them with things like Amazon Prime, Hulu, or Netflix. All right, let's get into it. You ever notice that sometimes there's things that just always go together? They're pairs of things that you can't think of one without thinking of the other. Like Bob and Larry, Anna and Elsa, or Peanut Butter Jelly. Well, this week's first pick is a combo just like that. I'm talking about Wallace and Gromit. They are one of my favorite movie pairs, and they star in a whole series of movies and short films. But today, I want to suggest for you their first full-length movie, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. In this movie, Wallace, an inventor of very elaborate contraptions that don't always work right, and his best friend dog, Gromit, are a pair of exterminators that are tasked with saving the village's vegetable gardens from being eaten by a big, scary, giant were-rabbit. The neat thing about this animated movie is instead of each scene being drawn by hand or using a computer, the filmmakers did it all by using tiny clay dolls on little model sets. It's called stop motion animation. It takes a really long time, but it looks so cool when it's all put together. If after watching this movie, you can't get enough of these guys, just go on YouTube and Google Wallace and Gromit. They have got so many titles on there. They started out doing shorts. Little animated featurettes, maybe a minute or two minutes long, you'll get lost in watching all of these. Here's another great idea. If you really like this idea of stop motion, why don't you try to make your own stop motion film? Use any camera and take pictures. Go on YouTube and just search for a DIY tutorial on stop motion and you'll see all sorts of cool tips and tricks. There's even apps that you can download for your phone to help make these. Everyone loves a Disney princess story, right? Cinderella, Snow White, Tiana, Jasmine, Ariel, Sleeping Beauty. They're all classic Disney princesses featured in their very own animated fairy tales. But have you ever heard of Giselle? She's got her own movie too. It's called Enchanted. She's just like the other princesses, loved by a prince, friends of woodland creatures, and lives in a castle. But she soon gets banished by a jealous queen. And that's where the similarities with this classic Disney movie end because where Giselle gets banished to is unlike any fairy tale cartoon you've seen before. The evil queen sends Giselle to New York City, where not only does she need to figure out how to navigate this strange new world, but she also needs to figure out how to get back to her own land and find her prince. Enchanted is a movie that I really hope you love. It's filled with all the things that you've come to expect in a classic Disney fairy tale. It's got the dashing prince, the beautiful princess, the evil queen, the wicked old witch, and all the mischievous little animal friends. And the singing. Well, this wouldn't be a musical without singing and dancing, right? Two guys came together to make the music and they did a great job. Their names are Alan Menken and Steven Schwartz. They've worked together on other Disney movies that you might have seen, like Pocahontas and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. They've also written tons of musicals by themselves and with other partners. Take a look at these films. These are just some of the things that they've created. I think my favorite character is Pip. It's Giselle's little chipmunk pal. And back in the animated world, he's always got something funny to say. But in the real world, he just talks in gibberish. Enchanted is an older movie. It's an older musical. My kids loved it when they were growing up, and I hope it's something you'll like too. Ever heard of cryptozoology? It's the study of unknown creatures like the Loch Ness Monster, the Abominable Snowman, Yeti, Bigfoot, or the Kid with the Clean Room. If strange and mysterious creatures pique your interest, then I think you're gonna love this week's pick for my live action film. It's called Harry and the Hendersons. When a family from Seattle in a hunting crazed neighborhood adopts a Bigfoot named Harry, all sorts of chaos ensues. The family struggles with keeping Harry safe in a community out to get him. And his large, hairy body creates all sorts of trouble for the family. This movie is a heartfelt tale 
about family, humanity, and love, driven by Harry and the family's father, George Henderson, played by John Lithgow. I think you're really gonna love this movie. Uh, it's a sweet movie, great for the family, and the special effects are amazing. The actor that plays Harry, or the Bigfoot, uh, he's the same actor that played a monster in a scary movie called Predator uh, that maybe your parents saw. Also, the man that made all the makeup for the actor to dress as Harry, the Bigfoot, his name is Rick Baker, and he has done a ton of movies, mostly adult movies that are kind of scary, some horror movies, but this is a family, a family friendly movie he did, and he even won an Oscar uh, for his work on this movie. It's a great film, and I hope you like it. You know, one thing that's fun is sometimes you can do a movie marathon with a, where all the movies have a theme. So if you really liked Harry and the Hendersons and this whole idea of cryptozoology and strange creatures interests you, check out these titles. These are all about some creatures and they're all family friendly and, and I think you might like them. Well, thanks. Those are my three picks this week. Join me again next week when I give you three of my favorites. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date and we'll see you next week.